Hey y'all, I hope everybody had a restful holiday season. It is the last week in December. I currently have an additional three kids in my house as my sister is here with um, my niece and two nephews. So six children living in my house right now, which is actually super fun. So you just saw my daughter and my sweet niece and they were taking apart the parent they were taking apart the fairy garden. And so I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be doing in that area. And I'm also going to get hellebore that I have had since November um, that I got as a gift from my friend Kristen. I also got to get that in the ground today. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up. And be sure you go over and check me out on TikTok. Okay, here's the fairy garden. Sorry for all the cords and the Christmas stuff. Remember we um, designed it in this, um, it's like a boot tray where you put like soggy boots when you come in from outside. So it's all right here. I've already got a lot of daffodils coming up and I know there are a ton of daffodils here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and then let's see what's going on underneath it. Okay, so there's a lot of rocks in here which are remnants of a past fairy garden and you can see a lot of these daffodil stems coming up because this whole area is filled with daffodils. daffodils. So um, anyway, what I'm gonna end up doing is, this is kind of a big open space. This guy's getting pulled out. This is a zinnia. All right, so we're gonna clean up this whole area right here. I'm gonna pull out some of this dead stuff and then I am going to fill it in with small Elysium plugs. So this is sweet, uh, Elysium, 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 so, uh, yeah, I, I butcher all the names, y'all know that. But I'm gonna fill in with these little plugs in that whole area in the idea that that whole area will become a carpet once it all fills in. Let's get started. you guys about where this project started so if you can remember my past videos I've been working on a color blocking situation across this front portion of the garden all in purples and whites so I have white blotch um, pansies here I have red kale white kale uh, dark purple blotch pansies a little bit of burgundy just for a little bit of contrast some violas tucked in, some penny blue violas, and now we're gonna sweep over to the Elysium in white and purple. So, as this continues to fill in throughout the winter and um, spring, this will be a swath of purple and white all the way across the entire front portion of the garden. I went ahead and spread these out. I am mixing these. So purple and white. And now, in all fairness, I forgot to water these. So they're pretty sad looking, but they'll perk up once I get them into the ground. Purple and white across this, they will fill in and cover this whole area. You won't see any of the ground. And I think that'll look really good. I did put down a layer of plant tone for fertilizer. And after I get these planted, I will water them in really, really well.
Okay, so I have this Hellebores Winter Jewels Black Diamond from a uh, local nursery and I'm gonna be putting it along with my other Hellebores that I have in the garden. I started some last year and I've been really happy with how well they did. They did great over the summer. This is a partially um, shaded area. Look at all these blooms, you guys, so pretty. And wouldn't it be awesome if I knew the variety names? <laughs> I don't know what they are. I'll look them up and see if I can find them and put them on the bottom of here. So I've got that one right there. And then I've got some more tucked back in here. Shaded area. So pretty, you guys. Look at these nice lush and all these blooms coming. Another one right here. So I think that what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to tuck this new one right here in that area. So then I'll have some back there, right there, one right there. I think that'll look good. I'm gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna put in some plant tone and get that planted. Let me show you what I got now. I will say there's a whole bunch of kiddos playing basketball out here right now with me. So it's pretty loud, but let me show you what I did. All right. So I got kids out everywhere playing basketball. All right, but I got this black diamond Helleborus planted here. This gets a whole lot of shade throughout the really tough um, summer months. So that is really key for Hellebore. These will grow nice and full. This fern will come forward and by, gosh, June, July, this will get covered up. And so that's fine. It does really grow. That's what happened to this guy. It is planted right beside this mum and this mum overtakes it as the weather gets warmer. Same thing back here. All of this gets overtaken by this maiden hair fern and it gets shaded in all the really hot winter months, which is perfect. And that's exactly what you want for your hellebore. And then over here, I got the sweet Elizam, Elizam, however you say it in here. Looks super spotty right now, but it will fill in this whole area and complete this color blocking across the front of the garden. Okay, I'm glad I got that done. Um, that hellebore had been sitting there since November. The Elizam had been here since before Christmas and I just hadn't gotten around to it. And truthfully, we're still having crazy weather. It's still 70 degrees, y'all. There goes FedEx. It's still 70 degrees here. It's insane. Now, we are supposed to be getting some cooler weather, potentially a freeze coming up this next weekend. I saw the word snow in the forecast. Crazy, right? So right now it's just a giant seesaw of about, you know, 30, 40, 50 degree changes within a week, which is insane. <laughs> so, but I have enjoyed this year with you guys. I have a lot of awesome videos coming out in January where we are gonna be talking about what seeds I'm sowing each month, um, organization, planning, everything that I've got going for 2022, which is super exciting. I do have a really awesome giveaway. I've never done a giveaway before, but I'm gonna be doing one at the beginning of the year. Um, so it'll be really cool to share that with all of y'all. I hope you had a wonderful 2021. If you didn't, then I hope 2022 is awesome for you. I wish you all the best, all the luck in the world, and all the joy and peace in the world as well. As always, she's a mad gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.